Hello, my friend. Today is the day that I review the Blendiful and the Baby Blendiful for you. I am excited to tell you my thoughts on these. Uh, this is very interesting because it's, the, the public opinion seems to be a bit mixed. Some people are saying, oh my gosh, it's $18 for a poof. Some people are saying this could be a beauty tool that revolutionizes the way we do our makeup. And I feel like I'm kind of falling a little bit in between, but uh, to see this stuff in action and really get into it, we, we need to take a little time, a little time to hang out and have a discussion and really see these in action. And also uh, I'm gonna cut this up for you so we can see what's inside because I'm really curious. And if that sounds interesting to you, hang tight. We're getting into it right now. Before we go any further, I do want to let you know that I do have these products coming in PR from the Tati Beauty. I have not received those yet. These are the ones that I purchased with my own dollars. And uh, yeah, those are the ones we've been playing with today. Tati is an acquaintance of mine, but as you know, that doesn't affect my reviews at all. Uh, my job is to give you the most information possible so you can decide whether these products are right for you because I don't want you to waste money on something that you aren't going to like. Uh, that is my number one priority. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you my application today, we used these two products on this side of my face, and on the other side, I use these Ulta Beauty Velour Puffs. Uh, it's $2.50 for four of them, uh, and I use these to apply this side. So, let's go ahead and I will show you that right now. Now, I did wanna show you, now that we're up close, the dirty one. This one, I have used one of these before, but I wanted to show you what it looks like if you try to clean one of these. It did stay together. Um, this is hand washing. It did stay together, but as you can see, it is quite stained. This one is the other one that I've been using lately. It's the Beauty Blender version of it. So it's the puff on one side and then the uh, like spongy stuff on the other side. So you can see how this one cleans up as well. But we're not gonna use that today because we're only gonna do two halves of the face. Let's go ahead and start with the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer. I have been absolutely loving this. If you are curious about how to pick a primer that's right for you, uh, what kind of primers, primers might be good for your skin type, I am working on an everything you need to know video about primers, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed for that. That is coming. Um, I chose today this one because it is quite hydrating and I want to make sure that my face is well hydrated so that the, uh, the, the foundation doesn't stick to dry patches. So we're going to get a brand new one of these out and I'm wondering how long one of these would last if I was washing it over and over again and how yucky it would get. Um, I, it's, these are so, so cheap and they feel really cheap and be honest, this does not feel cheap like that. I mean, does it feel complicated? No, but it doesn't feel cheap. I chose today to do the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I'm wearing the shade M5 and I chose this because it already is a medium to full coverage foundation. And what I'm finding out about these things is that the coverage seems to get more intense when you use one of these versus like a beauty blender. So I wanted to see what it would look like with a, a foundation that's already more full coverage because I have a feeling those are the people that are gonna be the biggest fans. We're gonna put on my Bon Vivian bare ears to get my hair out of the way. And let's get going. We're gonna start with one pump for the right side and I'm just gonna tap this on and we're just gonna do the Tati Puff first and see how it goes. Now in practicing with this, I did find that it's better to tap and roll rather than, um, than swipe. Kind of like the way you would use a beauty blender, but the difference that I like about this a little bit better is that because it's so large, you cover an area a lot faster than you do with a beauty blender. And even though you're doing this tedious, long <laughs> movement rather than just going all over your face, it goes by pretty quickly because of the size of the tool. And it does feel very nice, it's very squishy. Okay, so that is done on this side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do one pump on for the other side. And just to make sure that you are aware that I'm aware, I know that these are not meant to put on regular foundation. They're meant to use for just powder. And I realize that, but I wanna see if there's a cheaper alternative for us um, that will do pretty much the same thing. And because it's a velour puff, this was what was most highly requested to um, to try against the, um, the Blendiful. Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing here. And because the tool is smaller, it is taking a good bit longer. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and look at both sides. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's put the foundation aside and let's do a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use my Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna flip this over so I have a clean side to use. Actually, no, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the Baby Blendiful because that's what its purpose is. And I'm gonna kind of fold that in half and tap the concealer in. Okay, that's what we're working with there. Now I'm gonna use this guy I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna, it definitely doesn't feel as nice. <laughs> it does not feel as nice at all. I feel like I'm jabbing a folded up piece of paper into my face. <laughs> does not feel nearly as good, but it's working. It's definitely working. It worked, it blended it in. And I honestly don't see that much of a difference and I actually see more coverage on my left side than my right side. Maybe because it didn't blend it as much. I don't know. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna do another layer of concealer. See if we can build up the coverage. Okay. Let's do this side. I mean, it, the Blendiful is definitely a better experience, but am I getting good enough results that it's worth the investment? That's the big question. Okay. So I think we're done there as far as that goes. Time to powder. So I'm gonna use my Nikia Joy Velvet Finishing Powder. This is a fabulous powder. I'm gonna use the corner over here. I saw Paige over at Seeking Alexandria do this and she did like a thing she learned from Wayne Goss where she like flicked it. I don't know. The comfort and the speed of this is definitely selling me on it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna dip into a new one <laughs> because this is so great. Or should I use the same one? I don't know, where are you? You need to be here telling me which one I should use right now. All right, I'm just gonna use a new one. Whoa, my gosh. Okay, so let's be honest. Let's look at both sides. I honestly, I honestly can't tell much difference. I'm, I'm gonna be 100% with you. I mean, if I'm being super picky, this side looks a little bit more blended, but that's just me being super picky. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on most of the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Right. Looking a little different now. I got my eyes done, I got my lips done. On my eyes today, I have some shadows from the Makeup Geek rebrand. So I've got these, these three right here on my eyes. This one up here is called Honey Badger. And then this one down here is Cheetah Bear. And then this one all the way down here is, ah, don't scratch it, chocolate wasted. So that's what I have up in the crease. And then on my lid today, for the most part, I have this shade from Cleona Cosmetics. This is shade, the shade Caribou. And then, no, safe. Okay, and then in the inner corner, I have this shade called Shroom in my inner corner. And then on my lips today, I have a mix of a few shades, oh, two shades. I have a mix of Aries by Ofra and Cork by Dose of Colors. On my cheeks today, that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna use Kosas. This is a Velvet Melon. Um, of course, I've already powdered my face, so I may get a different effect if I did this before powder, um, but I've been kind of digging. I know it sounds really weird, but I've been kind of digging on doing uh, my cream cheek products after powder. I know that sounds very counterintuitive, but I've been kind of liking the way that it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna pat a little bit on right yonder. And then I'm gonna use this guy, I'm gonna use the point on this side, on the clean side, and blend that in. Does it look stripey? Kind of. Might have been because of my placement though. I don't know, I think that looks pretty. Put a little bit more over here. 
Very nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to do the same thing with the other side. I think I might need a little more down here. It's definitely blending into my skin just fine with this. What do you think? How's it looking? All right, Milk Makeup, this is Mars. This is one of my favorite cream highlights of all time. And we're just gonna pat that there. And womp, 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 womp. Let's give it a little bit of a pat, it doesn't need much. And then on this side. This product really doesn't need a lot of blending. It probably wasn't the best choice. It doesn't need a whole lot of love. Okay, so there we go. I'm not gonna contour today, I'm gonna let that be. All right, so I think this is the final look. So let's give it one more look and kind of see what we got going on as far as the two different sides. Can you tell a difference? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom out and let's talk a little bit more. All right, so now let's go ahead and break it down. Okay, so pros and cons. Pros for the Blendiful. I like the size of it a lot. It's nice to be able to blend things very, very quickly, even though you have to do that press and pack kind of thing. It's not annoying because it is so large. If you're used to using a beauty blender to press and pat, this is going to be a lot faster for you. I also really like how soft it is. It feels really, really good, and I can't wait to cut this open and see what's on the inside of it. Um, but it feels really, really good on the face as you, as you use it. I mean, it's very, very soft. One thing I wanted to show you when I was zoomed in, but I forgot, but I'll show you right now is the uh, comparison between the makeup eraser and this. Now this is a makeup removal tool, but people were saying that it felt very similar and it does feel very similar. The big difference is that the Blendiful has the spongy stuff in the middle where this is just kind of floppy. Um, it does bend like this would bend, but this is just kind of all over the place. I would never want to use this to apply my makeup every day. It's just too floppy. Another thing I really like about this is I do like the point. I find it to be very easy to use to get into targeted areas. I also like the Baby Blendiful th for that. The Baby Blendiful is just a little more firm than the regular one, just a tad bit, um, which makes it really good for, you know, the under eyes to really pack in there and really get in the little crevices and things. And the little heart shape really does fit nicely around the eye, which is very nice. Now comparing it to something like this, this worked. Overall, it worked. The finish of it is almost exactly the same. I feel like I can tell a slight difference and I do think the Blendiful does a better job than this, but not by a ton. I don't think anybody else would notice that my face was blended with two different tools, one that was much more expensive than the other, but the whole process of using this was much more enjoyable than using this. This felt like I was using a cheap puff and if you were on a budget, Maybe think of pick, about picking some of these up and using them to apply your makeup. You may really, really enjoy it. Um, but if you have the money to spend and you want a more uh, enjoyable, softer experience, then I do really like this a lot. I felt like it did a great job. Over the years, I've gone over through many different phases of different ways to apply my foundation and different things that I've enjoyed over the years. So my first love was the flat top kabuki brush. Still really love using a flat top kabuki brush, brush to apply my foundation. I also really love paddle brushes like this Artiste Oval 7. Um, really love these. There's definitely less expensive versions of this that work just as well. And then if you remember, I guess it was last year, or the year before, maybe the year before, where I fell in love with this um, rotating one. Really love that. And then, of course, the Beauty Blender, Beauty Sponges. Honestly, I don't reach for those a whole lot just because they take a really long time to use for me. <laughs> I just don't enjoy cleaning them, and it's just, it's kind of a mess. Um, so I don't reach for Beauty Sponges a whole lot. I kind of like speed <laughs> when I'm trying to do my makeup when it comes to my face, because I want to get to my eyes. I want to spend the time on my eyes. So as far as speed goes, I feel like this blends pretty much as quickly as these, which is good for me and is kind of a vote up for me using this along with these other products. As far as powder goes, oh, I'm kind of on the fence. I feel like some days I'm really gonna wanna use a big fluffy powder brush, but I do think this is really nice to press the powder into the skin. I honestly don't think I'll be using this for any kind of cheek products, highlighter, blush, 
I, I just, I would much rather you use a brush to be honest. Can I use this? Yeah, I'm probably not gonna choose that. One thing I also really like about the Blendiful is it does not seem to be soaking up a lot of product. When we cut it open, we'll be able to see if products got on the inside of this. Um, but I know for a fact that these soak up product like crazy. I know that the Beauty Blender soaks up product like crazy. So if you want your foundation to last longer, to not soak into your tool, this would probably be a better option or even this would be a better option option for that. Now I also compared it to the Beauty Blender version. I used this quite a few times and one thing I noticed about this Beauty Blender version and this one as well is I do feel like because it doesn't absorb as much product, I feel like it applies things a little more full coverage than I'm used to with a brush. Now especially things like the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, the Purelisse BB Cream, I felt like those went on more medium coverage which was surprising to me with these tools versus my brushes and things in the Beauty Blender. So if that's something you like more, then definitely look into getting something like this. It doesn't have to be the Blendiful, but something like this, you'll probably really like it just because you'll get that more full coverage look without using as much product. And with that being said, let's cut this open. <laughs> All right, I got one shot at this. You got one chance. Do not miss your chance to blow. I cannot mess this up. So we're gonna cut into this and see. I'm like, my heart is beating. Why am I so nervous? It's it's not like, all right, let's just do it. Just do it, Jen. Ooh, I'm just gonna cut off, ooh, okay. So what's inside, it's not surprising. Okay, so it's attached inside. That's interesting. So it's just a piece of foam. It's really soft, really soft. I actually kind of expected it to be like memory foam or something inside, but it's it's really just a soft piece of foam. Interesting. And then it's sewed here on two points. Well, now we know what's inside and you can see that there's no product on it. So the product did not seep through this material um, and you can kind of see the material. Uh, it, it's just, yeah, it's just like a piece of cloth and it didn't seep through. So that's kind of encouraging because if you ever cut open a beauty blender, you can see that the product goes all the way through where this one, it does not. And this is the second time I've used the um, the Blendiful and it didn't seep through at all. It's still bright white. So that's kind of cool. I could just sew this baby back up. It'll be good. Look, see, I can still use it, right? <laughs> there we go. See, look, it looks like I didn't even cut it, sort of. <laughs> You wanna see if the baby's the same on the inside as the, the, the mommy? <laughs> I feel so wrong right now, I feel so wrong. Let's see, is it the same? Okay, it's different. It is different, it's a different texture. This one is definitely, um, you know, it's, it's more holy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 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 more firm as well, where this one is more dense and soft. So they're definitely made out of different materials on the inside. Very interesting. So final verdict is that I do really like the Blendiful a lot. Do I like it better than my other tools? No, not really. Do I like it just as much as some of my other tools? Yeah, I do. I like it just as much and I'm very thankful to have it. And I think that when this wears out eventually, supposedly these things are very easy to wash. I have not washed mine yet. Uh, when this wears out eventually, I can see myself purchasing another one. At this point, my friends, you know what time it is. It is your turn in the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness where we help each other not to buy crap and to buy things that are totally worth it. I would love to know your thoughts down below. I know there are so many products like this. There was one that Tati used that she was using for a long time that people want me to compare it to. There's so many of them. These were the tools that I could get my hands on quickly for this video. I do plan on bringing this back in a favorites and fails video soon. And I want to give you more information on some of these other things that I've tried. I want to try using this Laura Mercier puff. I got these off of Amazon. I also have some other ones coming from Amazon. So I'll give you an update on the Blendiful uh, once I get it into a favorites and fails and Play with a little more, but I did want to get this video to you as soon as possible. So uh, more information coming. So keep an eye out for that favorites and fails video and make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss it. Mad love to you. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe before you go and hit the thumbs up button. It helps me to get visibility on YouTube and have YouTube share it with other people. And if you would like to hang out a little bit longer, YouTube should be recommending a video for you right down there to watch. But if it is your time to go, thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. Mad love to you. I will see you in a video very, very soon.